Hello everyone, I'm the Night Angel, and welcome back to another video. Uh, this isn't like the regular, like, um, post thoughts video. I haven't really had time to look at much of other people's thoughts, make my, have time to stew on it. I just, uh, wanted to do something a bit more fun, and I noticed a common complaint among the Miraculous fandom, even before this episode aired, was that Julika is just in the reflect- the akumatization, despite her reasonings for this akumatization being different. Like, in Reflecta and Reflecta Doll, it was very much her being placed and avoided, so I was okay with those being the same. Gang of Secrets, I was okay with her kind of having the Reflecta since everybody had a repeat, and I might go back and make a, like, group acclimatization for them, but it's another thing that's like, well, it gets a bit of a pass since it's one of those where it's just like re this group and they get their old acuma forms. But when Luke and Kagami get different akumatized forms every time they're akumatized, it makes me be like, okay, I'm gonna just, uh, since her reasonings are different, it's not a group akumatization in this one, I am going to do a Akuma redesign for this. Um, to go with guilt trip, usually when you are guilt feel guilty of something, you're remorseful, so I'm calling this Akuma Remorse. And because it is specifically related to Rose and her feeling guilty about the illness, and as well as like even Hawkma states that like Julka's feeling lonely, and she's she's just feeling a lot of emotions about Rose being sick, and Rose being her girlfriend and best friend, and not exactly, like, sure what's gonna happen to her. I decided to take this and make Remorse and Spirity, again, Guilt Trip was the scent monster. Remorse, I decided to put her in more of a, like, Victorian gothic memorial outfit. So I looked up colors that are related to guilt in, like, blacks, greens, reds, purples, were all kind of given, so I just went with really dark reds and purples, because they kind of fit her aesthetic more. I gave lots of, like, rose accents to her, because Rose is the person she's, rem she's remorseful that she couldn't keep Rose a secret, and she in a way, is grieving over this secret. I ended up leaving the veil till later, because I wanted to do that on a different layer, I realized. Her eyes were the hardest part, just because uh, I wanted to keep it as close to the original style as possible. I have hard times, like, with partially closed eyes. I also wanted to kind of give her that, uh, a slight, like, she could be the antagonistic ghost in a horror movie type look. Like a bride that was taken for her prime. I chose to have her hair out of her face because I thought it uh, made it look better because of the veil was going to be covering her face. I 
Again, I, uh, did a cursory Google search on, like, Victorian memorial dresses. And did a, like, you can see I have a rough sketch of the idea I had for it. Ended up changing some aspects, like I, uh, ended up not doing the little, like, chest piece on there. It just ended up being the corset, the top of the bodice, and she would actually be wearing, like, a Victorian, like, the back would look like a full Victorian dress, but the front would be exposed with, like, leggings or something. I was really determined to give her nails. Uh, as usual, my hands are terrible. It is something I am working on, but uh, I didn't want to spend too much time looking for references in this video. I'll take a few seconds to figure out, a few minutes actually, because this is sped up, to figure out how to, where I ha wanted the veil to like sit and how I wanted it to lay. Then got into coloring it. End up keeping her hair black since I was going to be going with a darker motif overall. So her hair basically is the same, just put back into a bun with rose accents and a veil over it. And since her eyes are already a really brownish red, I decided to uh, just make them a tad more red. And I was actually avoiding doing her uh, skin for the longest time since I didn't know what I wanted to do for that. End up going with this like I forget what color I settled on. I have to Yeah, I ended up sticking with this like desaturated dark purple. It ended up making her eyes stand out a lot more, which I was just like, okay, that works. And then I just ended up making her, um, outfit an even darker purple. That way all the, the red accents would stand out more. Give her red nails and just because I thought the red nails looked good, I gave her different shades of red and pink on the roses. Pink being the obvious symbol of rose. And I realized the pattern I put on the bodice um, actually ended up on the rose, but it ended up looking really cool, so I left it. One thing I really wanted to do was keep her like reflect the uh, eyelashes because that's something I see a lot in Julika like hero art is keeping the lashes which I get it. <laughs> and it wanted to look like she had been crying so I kind of gave her this like effed up mascara type look. I'm 
which is basically just taking the smudge tool and extending it down. Then I did the same with her bottom lipstick because I thought it looked nice. I originally was going to do designs on the veil, but I didn't want the outfit to be too busy since I wanted to do some other stuff to the veil, like using her reflect all pink to kind of tie it in with her other acclimatizations. And final highlights and adjusting. I'm actually really proud of how it turned out. I feel like remorse would have been a much better at 